Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I gotta like that, I always have my own Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, I'm going to be decluttering a few perfumes from my perfume collection. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. My scent of the day is Passion de l'Amour by House of Siage. This perfume is a fruity oud. I absolutely love it. It was kindly gifted to me by my little sister and her husband. I just adore this perfume so much. I wear it on a special occasion and today is a special occasion for me because I am going on a date night with my husband and I absolutely love this perfume. It's long lasting, compliment magnet, stunning. And my lipstick of the day is MVP. Now, the only thing about this perfume is it just smudges, as you guys can see my fingers. It literally smudges everywhere, but this red is perfect for any skin tone. I will link it below. I think this is pretty popular anyway. A lot of people know about this. I think it's a perfect red. I do like the formula. I just wish it didn't smudge everywhere. So I've put some of the perfumes on a tray and I've got a second tray over there. So make sure you sit back, relax, because this might be a little bit long. Actually, I'm gonna speed through this because there's not much to say about these perfumes um, in terms of why I'm decluttering them. I'm just trying to reduce my collection. I want to only have perfumes that I wear often. But anyhow, let's get on with the video. Now, the first perfume is Passe Soir by BDK. You guys must be sick of me at this point because I have decluttered this perfume once before. I was going to sell it and then I changed my mind because I thought it smells quite nice. But when I reach for it, I just don't feel like spraying it. I don't know. Like, I try to love it, but I don't. And I'm not going to force myself anymore. Um, Passe Soir is a fruity, uh, musky, sweet, a super nice perfume. But it just doesn't do it for me. I don't know what it is. There's something in there that, like, disturbs me. I don't know if it's the Queen's Note. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't quite work for me. But anyway, Passe Soir by BDK is getting chopped. <laughs> from my perfume collection. Next we have a Fev Delicious <laughs> by Dior. This perfume is amazing. I really, really love it. It has a bunch of notes. It's got gourmand elements. It's got fruity elements. It's discontinued. This is so sought after by a lot of people, but I never wear this. I literally, this to me is a autumn winter perfume, right? I never wear it. I'd never reach for it. I find it so stunning. I get compliments on it the very few times I've worn it, but it's so heavy. It's such a heavy, strong, I, it's just too much. It's just too much. And it's got like this cinnamon vibe to it that I don't always enjoy because I'm not someone that loves cinnamon like that. And it comes out so prominently in this perfume together with the cherry. It has caramel, vanilla. It has a lot of notes, but I don't wear it. And that is, yes, sniffing it like this, I actually don't like it. But when I spray, it smells amazing. But as much as I want to keep this in my collection, it's just catching dust. And I'm just going to declutter it once and for all. So that is Fev Delicious by Christian Dior. Next, we have Narciso Poudre. This perfume is ultimately my going to bed scent. I really, really liked it. I don't anymore. I was wearing this to bed for years and it just doesn't speak to me like that anymore. I much rather wear like something vanillic, something sweet and subtle to bed. There are times this is actually stronger than it needs to be. Um, it lasts long, but it's very, very musky indeed. If you like a musky perfume, like I always say, Narciso Rodriguez does the best musky perfume in my opinion and this is a super musky it's not animalic at all but it's musky it's powdery it's very nice but I just don't reach for it for bed anymore so the next one is also by Narciso and this is Narciso Rouge this to me is a lipsticky vanilla sweet uh, musky as well really nice but I don't I don't wear this like I can count on one finger how many times I've pulled for this perfume in the last year and it just has to go. So those are the two Narciso perfumes that I'm decluttering. Next we have Cherry Punk by Room 1015. As you guys can see, 
literally no dent i have worn this perfume once it's a leathery cherry perfume it's very very nice it's really nice it's not like in the exact same family as say lost cherry it's a lot more um unisex leaning i would say because of that leather it's very um Ariel Levine type of perfume i just think it's so rocky punky very out there it's fun but it's just not for me it's just not for me it's a cherry perfume that i like but i don't wear it so that is the only reason this one is leaving my collection plus i have a few cherry perfumes in my collection that i much prefer like rouge smoking um lush cherry um also one by seven virtues cherry ambition i love that as well this is not kind of like in the same sort of family this is a little bit more masculine on my skin so that is cherry punk by room 1015 the next perfume is chloe nomad absolute i enjoy this but i only wear this to like work this perfume is very earthy it's green it's very serious kind of scent um you guys can google the notes and all of that i'm not trying to go into notes in this video because if i did this video is going to be way too long plus i don't know i care more about what the person is saying about the perfume as opposed to learning about the notes because notes don't always translate to how the perfume smells but anyhow this is a serious perfume i would put it in the same family as um coco mademoiselle they just give very like easy to wear kind of scent um they are not necessarily gonna get you compliments but you're gonna smell nice to work this is a work perfume to me it's a serious type of scent again there was a time i was reaching for it lots i don't reach for it anymore maybe a few times i wore it this year but when i say reach for a perfume you guys already know the perfumes i wear quite often because i speak about them often on my channel but this one rarely gets worn so it has to go so the next perfume is louis crown by christian louboutin again another one that i don't wear i should actually call this video perfumes i don't wear this is a patchouli woody slightly sweet in the opening kind of scent i really enjoy this i can't even lie i really enjoy this but out of all the christian louboutin line i feel like my favorite is louis rouge that's the one i wear very very often i rarely reach for this one and when i do wear it i get compliments but it's it's just not speaking to me it doesn't move me i don't want to pick it up and wear it it's heavy anyway <laughs> but like i just don't I don't gravitate towards this perfume so it has to go so that is Luby crown by christian louboutin so the next perfume is by navitas and this one is called the embrace this is the collaboration with monica monica on youtube i love this perfume it reminds me of italica by zerjoff but it's way better like this is a biscuity caramel it's super nice it's very gourmand but it still smells like perfume again i don't wear this i have had this in my collection for a while and i don't pull for it i don't even know if navitas do it anymore but it just doesn't move me again i just i want to literally have even if i have a hundred perfumes in my collection i want to use them i want to enjoy them and i don't really enjoy these perfumes anymore and that's okay because this is my perfume journey because I know people will come and say, oh, well, you said this is amazing. It doesn't take away the amazingness of the perfume. But for me, there are other perfumes in my collection that I find more amazing and I reach for even more. So that is The Embrace by Navitas. This next perfume is a joke at this point because I just don't wear it. And this is Soleil Lalique. Beautiful bottle. I kept it for that reason. I This is a bracelet, by the way, that they put around the perfume, which I think is quite nice. Again, this is described as a gourmand. It's it's so far from. This is so watered down. This is not gourmand at all. I believe this has like caramel, coffee. Like when you read the notes um, profile, you'd be like, oh my gosh, I want to blind buy this, especially if you're a gourmand lover. But this is so far-fetched from the way it's been described. I like it. I don't wear it. I've always kept it in my collection for the bottle. I thought that I would 
pick up my love for it at some point but i did not um and it's not a very expensive perfume anyway like you can get this for like 40 pounds if you wanted to um i think it's on notino um a few websites have it for much like really really cheap for what this is but yeah i don't really enjoy this perfume i don't know if i'm going to give it away or sell it for like pennies i don't know but like it's just not giving what it needs to give another one that i'm just like should i keep this should i not um it's laundry d intense by givenchy i prefer the rouge i'm gonna keep the rouge i'm gonna get rid of this it has a very permanent note of sesame it's a really lovely perfume don't get me wrong it's a floral i love floral perfumes i just don't wear this one as i do the rouge and even with the rouge when it's done i think i'm just gonna be done with the whole laundry d line because i don't find them groundbreaking and i know like perfumes don't have to be groundbreaking all the time but i want a perfume that i just like smell it and i just get this i don't know this feeling i want to feel something and i don't feel anything with this one so it has to go so that is laundry d intense by givenchy so the next perfume you guys are going to be shocked by this one because i have been talking about this perfume for a long time not in recent times though but i used to speak about this perfume all the time and it is scandal by jean paul gaultier this is a honey bomb this is so sweet this is almost cloyingly sweet i like it i i used to love it but i never wore it that often it's a perfect date night perfume it's one that guys really like because generally men like sweet perfumes on women and this is sweet um there's nothing to say about it it's just a sweet honey scent it's not special it's nice don't get me wrong if you are like new to designer world designer perfumes you may be blown away by this but for me it's very average it's not it's not demure <laughs> it's not giving so yeah it has to go so that is scandal by jean paul gaultier okay i've just put my camera down because it's looking way too high up so the next perfume it's not really gonna come as a surprise because i've told you guys so many times that my family hate this perfume my husband my kids my sister they don't like this perfume at all but i love it but i can't wear it around them and i'm always with them and the perfume is good so you guys can see i've got a little bit of a dent in it this perfume is so nice this is like a sweet oody perfume like a rose oud kind of scent but like it's giving very woody it's like a dry woody perfume it is so nice like it's in the family of the wood is for him but a lot more friendlier but i just i can't wear it like my husband detests this is is it's it's a lot and it has to go for that reason as much as i like it because they hate it so much literally like hate is a strong word but my family hates this perfume the moment i spray it or when i use the shower gel to shower they're like why does the bathroom smell like that that's how much they detest this perfume so i still don't detest it but i just can't wear it and i wouldn't wear it to work i wouldn't really wear it to like an occasion um yeah so i am going to sadly this makes me sad but it has to go so that is Scherzo by mila aris the next perfume is elixir 11 by kayali <sighs> so i love this right i love this perfume it's rose and patchouli very 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 heavy on that patchouli but i don't wear this i wear this sometimes i don't find it obnoxious as a lot of people do because i'm a lover of rose patchouli and this has macerated when i tell you the strength of this perfume it's 12 hours plus on my skin and even longer on clothes it's discontinued it's it's not one I feel like Kayali really promoted like that. I think it's because like this was their first perfume. So it was quite new. And I think it's probably their most complex perfume actually. But yeah, I'm decluttering it only because I don't wear it. I did create a little bit of a dent in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's about here. It's about here. Um, but yeah, Elixir 11 is a rose patchouli perfume that is perfectly unisex. But I don't wear it another one that i don't wear that is catching dust is love fest burning cherry um this one has the notes at the back i think this was released last year 
it was a year before but anyway this has burning cherry raspberry praline palo santo gayak wood and patchouli um this smells like a like a spicy smoky cherry i like it i like it a lot i layer it with vanilla 28 i layer a lot of my Kiali perfumes anyway um but this is just not one that i'm pulling for again it's another cherry perfume that i don't particularly enjoy as i do my other cherry perfumes i have like four cherry perfumes and i'm content with those cherry i find that lately i am not liking cherry anymore in my perfumes i much like a cherry that is not as cherry infused it's more cherry vanilla you know um but this one is smoky it's really likable i don't think it's likable it's not like lost cherry in some aspects you get like a a similarity to them both but this doesn't just this doesn't move me again so that is love fest burning cherry the next perfume is mandole by sora dora this was kindly sent to me i am very grateful i'm very thankful but mandole is a very strange vanilla it's very odd in like when you sniff it there is a sour smoky bitterness that i just don't enjoy once you spray it it smells nice in the dry down but you have to wait for the dry down now i was talking to my daughter last week about this perfume and she said the opening and the dry down are just as bad like she thinks it's just not it's not me and i totally agree let me just share the soradora perfumes that i do prefer and you guys can see from my dent here i absolutely love mallow orchid rouge is absolutely amazing and also Jani is beautiful i can't wait to wear this during this time of the year but mandole i don't even remember that i have this in my collection i know a lot of people were raving about this at some point and i wasn't raving about it i mentioned it in a couple of videos but i just never worry after that time um yeah it's a strange vanilla like, like i said i think you have to test this if you can before buying this is not blind buy safe because it will definitely challenge your nose but if you are looking for a super unique perfume that smells that doesn't smell like anything you can imagine um definitely get your nose on this one. Oh, i have a thing about selling pr so i am not going to sell this i'm going to give this one away so if you are somebody that likes the sound of mandole please dm me on instagram and the first person that dms me i will give this out for free um i just don't sell pr i just think i don't know i just think it's rude because it's a gift it's not classy it's not demure <laughs> so we have five more perfumes that i'm going to mention there's more but for the sake of this video i'm just going to mention these five six perfumes and i'm going to speed through them anyhow this is fenty 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 my husband absolutely loves this perfume but i don't love it i grew to love it at a point in time but i don't wear it now this one is a rose it's like a dirty rose it's green it's not sweet it's not particularly feminine it smells like a dusty rose it's very different it's very different i think it's sexy though there's something sexy about it yeah i don't wear it L i'm not gonna long in this out <laughs> i don't wear it i don't dislike it i would probably i preferred if i had like the 10 mil in my collection rather than this size so that is the fenty perfume next we have bronze goddess by estee lauder this one is a coconut watery perfume i really like it summer just went or well, summer is kind of still here it's caught so much dust like summer is still here but i don't pull for this in the summer although it's a summer perfume i live in the uk and we don't get summer like that so i would rather pull for like my pineapple by dolce and gabbana my angel nova my delina those sort of perfumes are more are the ones that I gravitate towards and i don't tend to gravitate towards this i would still recommend it but i don't wear it so i'm going to get rid of it so that is bronze goddess by estee lauder next we have kuma by tiziana terenzi this smells exactly like strictly anatomy it's a tropical passion fruity like super tropical and musky very very potent very very strong i got this one in the in last year's harrods advent calendar 
and I don't pull for it. I much rather wear Strychnina. And this one is, I think this is 30 mil. No, this is 50 mil, 50 mil. So it's a lovely scent. It's tropical, it's strong. If you like the Tiziana Terenzi DNA, you are going to like this one. Now, the last perfume is going to shock you guys. I had to reduce it. There's like six more. Um, I will leave all of the link to the perfumes I'm going to sell in my description box below. I will always pin it in the comment section. Um, all of the perfumes will be reasonably priced and the ones that I'm giving away I'll repeat it again before the end of this video. So make sure you DM me if you want to get that perfume um, So the last one there's actually two Dolce Amalfi by Zerjoff. I don't like this. I've told you guys before I don't like it. I gave it to my daughter She gave it back which is very very rare because Sophia loves perfumes like you guys think I love perfume my daughter enjoys most perfumes and she's like mom you can have this back I, I just don't like it so yeah that is got to go and last but not least this one is gonna shock so many people this is joe malone's Mer and tonka it's lovely again smoky ambery myrrh like it's got like a tonka bean vibe it's very very unisex leaning some might even say it's masculine leaning i don't think it's masculine leaning i think it's perfectly unisex it's perfect for fall and winter this is so this this perfume comes alive when it's cold and i should keep it for that reason but i don't wear it winter has gone and come fall has gone and come it's about to come back again i don't imagine me reaching for this there's so so many perfumes in my collection that i will wear over this perfume not because it's bad i just prefer those perfumes over mer and tonka so my lovelies that is it for today's video don't forget if you want mandole send me a dm on instagram and the first person to send me a dm i will ship this off to you it has to be uk based because i cannot ship perfume outside of the uk because of the regulations the brexit everything else um, that comes with that so you have to be in the uk so send me a dm and i will happily send you mandole so my lovelies thank you so much for watching let me know what perfume you are decluttering if any um let me know out of these perfumes that i've spoken about which one shocked you the most comment it all down below thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye